Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm, and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies and welcome to this latest Chassis Sim video tutorial. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to announce the launch of Chassis Sim version 3.40. Now, this is a pretty big step up over its predecessor, Chassis Sim version 3.32. We've added a lot of um, newer features um, uh, to Chassis Sim. There's also been quite a few refinements as well. So let me take this opportunity to quickly walk you through um, what they are. First things first, the big difference between Chassis Sim version 3.40 and Chassis Sim version 3.32 is that Chassis Sim version 3.40 is now on a 64-bit architecture. Ditto um, for the just released um, chassis sim driver in the loop DLL as well. They're all now on the 64-bit architecture. What that means in plain English is it's going to run a bit faster than its predecessor version 3.32, and the chassis sim DLL is also going to run a bit more seamlessly as well. Now, in our testing, we found it's about 15 to 20% faster. However, that's going to be highly dependent on the computer that you've had, how you've configured Windows, and um, any other settings you might have on um, your um, PC. So that's the first thing. The other thing too, is that when you back to back Chassis Sim version 3.40 to Chassis Sim version 3.32, you are going to see some differences. Bottom line, the reason you're gonna see those differences is that in with um, version 3.40, we've gone through and addressed um, quite a few little bugs that we've um, uh, found um, with version 3.32. And in particular, there was a bug that there was a bug in the cornering drag that affected um, right-hand turns. Now, for those of you who are a little bit nervous about that, there's no need to worry. Um, we've back to back the setup trends from version 3.3.2 to version 3.4.0. And one of the things that we have found is the setup trends are exactly the same. The absolute numbers are going to be different. Now, from a front-end perspective, the big change that you're going to notice with Chassis Sim version 3.4.0 is that when you click on the spring damper dialog, the um, tabbed um, view for the springs, bump rubbers and dampers has now been replaced by individual dialogues. Now, the functionality in these dialogues is identical to what you had um, with um, your spring damp, uh, with your spring bump rubber and damper um, dialogues. However, one of the things that um, this has addressed is particularly one of the things that you will notice from time to time with the bump rubber packer um, page, that sometimes some of the settings didn't stick. Anyway, this pretty much addresses it. It also makes it a bit more stable as well. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that um, the um, heave spring or the front rear inter interconnected spring that got broken from about chassis in version 3.30, that has now been addressed. So if you go into your spring um, damper butt rubber dialog and you go to front rear inter interconnected spring or heave spring, you will now see that that is totally online. So that's obviously a, a sort of one, one could argue it's a re-edition, but uh, again, it now allows you to um, to model those heave springs if you need be. The other change to the front end is if we now click on um, our dampers and we go to the rear diff um, properties. If we click on access properties calculator, you've now got the option of adding um, brake locking ratio to the differential. You can also add diff preload with um, your effective tire radius as well. So that way you can really dial down what you want in um, the diff um, properties. The other thing too that we've added with Chassis Sim version 3.40 is that our tire force estimation has now been um, uh, has now been overhauled. So you'll have seen in one of the Chassis Sim video tutorials, I spoke about the technique of modeling from nothing. Well, this new tire force estimation, um, uh, our new a tire force um, estimation um, toolbox now takes that method and, and automates it for you. So pretty much um, what you do, like with the tire force modeling, you go through, you create a curvature file, a bump profile, you load in your altitude road camber file, you load in your monster file. And the big thing that you're gonna be playing with here is the understeer factor to dial in the amount of um, steer, uh, steer effort that you'll, um, uh, that you'll, do, uh, that you'll do. now. One note I do want to make: I would still, uh, I would still very closely study that mo tire modeling from nothing, because what it does it gives you number one a great backstory, but we're also going to keep teaching into the boot camps as well, because from time to time you're going to get some outliers where you've actually got to use your head, where the whole point of the tire force estimation is to allow you to get going with a rough rule of thumb and get going pretty quickly. So this is pretty much where this fits into the food chain. 
The other thing that we've done with um, Chassis version 3.40 is that as you can see here, we've turned off the one touch error modeling. This was always going, uh, this was something that we wrestled with quite a bit, but bottom line, the reason that we've decided to turn it off is that number one, the whole premise of taking one monster file and being able to generate an error surface map was, well, to be quite honest, fundamentally intellectually dishonest. But also, too, we've now built up enough of a library of cars where you can act, uh, where pretty much this feature has pretty much been rendered um, uh, redundant. The other thing that we've also done, and this has been long overdue as well, is in the edit circuit um, altitude box, if we click on generate circuit altitude road camber, we've also turned off that feature as well. And the reason we've turned it off is that if we go to circuit, edit circuit altitude road camber, edit current circuit um, altitude road camber, effectively that feature has been made redundant by the addition of AZ in the monster file and combining that with altitude GPS. And that's the reason that um, has, uh, that feature has been um, uh, that feature has been discontinued. Now, the other thing that we've uh, done with the Chassis version 3.40 release is that we've done a lot of refinement and a lot of additions to the Curs and EV and hybrid module. So let's uh, have a quick look at that. So if we go into here, Number one, you've now got, you can now enter an initial state of charge. And also, too, because now that um, uh, curves and hybrid systems, and particularly in EVs, um, the actual regen forms a significant part of the braking, and it's now on both axles, you've also now got the ability to click here to enable um, curves on the front axle. Uh, and the other thing that you've got is click here to prioritize curves and regen braking over mechanical braking. So, for those of you who are in a position of designing um, drive-by-wire um, braking systems and you're using a significant amount of regen, you've now got the ability to really explore where that crossover point between, okay, this is what I'm gonna, this is the braking I can expect out of, of my um, Curs hybrid EV regen system, and this is what I need to do with uh, my uh, mechanical um, braking system. The other thing that we've also done is we've done quite a few refinements to the uh, uh, to the regen algorithm as well to basically really nail down what you can do under um, braking as well and that and the testing for that has actually worked out really really well so that's another um, great addition that you'll have with chassis sim version 3.40 now the other two really big additions for chassis sim version 3.40 is the fact that chassis sim now inter it now interfaces with third-party dlls um, for both um, aero engine and suspension geometry the other thing too is that the chassis sim driver in the loop dll can now be called by third-party software such as matlab now they're going to be some now we've been working on that with some pretty heavy hitters now there's going to be some announcements about that in the next couple of months so i'm going to um ask you to stay tuned for that. However, at this point, let me wrap things up. And for those of you who are in the Chassis Sim community, um, you should now be in a position of when this video goes live, you should have gotten your um, email download instructions. For those of you who are on the online simulation, um, this is now uploaded um, to the, on, uh, this is now uploaded to the website, so you can download it from the website. But for those of you who are just getting started with simulation, um, what I would strongly encourage you to do, register for our online si uh, simulation, um, buy a few credits, take it for a spin, and just find out what a big step Chassis Sim version 3.40 is, and we'll catch you in the next Chassis Sim video tutorial.